If you're someone who loves to travel or even just wish you could travel more, then you've probably had to choose at some point between staying at an expensive hotel with nice amenities and a great location or the cheapest option possible. What if I told you that this year I've stayed at 10 of the nicest hotels I've ever stayed at in my life with my family for free using one simple credit card strategy? The total amount I would have paid for these hotels is over $12,000 but I didn't pay a single penny. I know it might sound too good to be true, but hear me out. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I did it and how you can do it too. So this year, I was able to take my family on trips across the USA, as well as the UK and Ireland. We visited cities like London, Bath, Manchester, Dublin, Edinburgh, as well as Las Vegas, Nevada, Austin, Texas, and Los Angeles, California. We were able to take these trips by signing up for credit cards, earning transferable points, and then transferring them to our bank's travel partners. There's only a few banks that do this well, and we use Chase Bank because they have some of the most valuable points and some of the best travel partners. I earned the welcome bonus on five credit cards, and my wife earned the welcome bonus on three, earning us thousands of points that we were able to transfer to one of Chase's best hotel partners, the World of Hyatt. Here's a bonus tip you can use to earn even more points. I earned points by referring my friends to these cards, like my friend who was able to use his points from just two cards to cover six nights for his honeymoon in Hawaii. So that's a quick overview on how we were able to do this. And now I'm going to show you in detail how you can do this too. But first, if you wanna travel for free using credit cards, there are a lot of mistakes you can make that will cost you down the road. So I'm going to show you the right way you can use credit cards to travel for free without making any of these mistakes. Here are three easy rules you must always follow. Rule number one, always pay off your credit card balance in full every month. There's no point in paying extra money in interest just to travel for free. So make sure you always pay off your balance in full. Rule number two is to never spend money you weren't already going to spend. Treat it exactly like you would a debit card and never spend money that you don't have. And the third rule is to be strategic with your credit. Make sure you understand how credit works and hold off on this strategy if you're planning on getting a mortgage or car loan or any other kind of loan in the next six months so that your credit can be in the best possible shape for that. As long as you follow those three rules, you'll avoid the biggest mistakes that people make and you'll unlock a whole world of travel for free using credit cards. So let's get into this strategy in detail. Step one is to sign up for specific kinds of credit cards that earn you transferable points. These will be from banks like Chase, American Express, Capital One, and Citi. Chase is probably the best place to start because of the 524 rule. Basically, if you get more than five cards in the last 24 months from any issuer, you cannot get another Chase card. So start with Chase so you don't miss out on some of the best welcome bonuses and travel partners. I mentioned that you want to be earning transferable points. So transferable points are usually pegged at a value of one cent per point, but they allow you to transfer your points to travel partners like hotels and airlines for much greater value than one cent per point. A lot of the cards you see will advertise offers for cash back, but they'll actually be paying you in the form of these transferable points. All right, now for step two. Step two is to earn signup bonuses. Signup bonuses get you the most amount of points in the shortest amount of time. Usually you'll need to meet a minimum spend requirement of one to $3,000 in a three month period. You can do this by putting everyday spend on your credit card, like gas, groceries, bills, and overall your goal here is to just meet that minimum spend requirement and earn the signup bonus. Later on in this video, I'm going to show you a way you can earn tons of welcome bonuses and points using reimbursable spend. Once you get the welcome bonus on your first card, apply for a new card every one to three months after, so you're constantly earning welcome bonuses. This will help you earn points way faster than it would with regular spend on the card. Don't cancel your previous cards as they'll age and help build your credit over time. I'll include links to a few card options that I recommend from Chase below in the description box. If you are interested in signing up for a credit card and you want to use my referral links, you can use those down below and I would much appreciate it. So step three and the best part is to redeem your points for travel. So once you've accumulated all these points, how do you use them for free travel? Well, there are lots of ways 
to use your points depending on which bank you choose. But I'll show you the main ones that every bank has. First is you can use your points as a statement credit. This is essentially cash back as you're just paying off your credit card bill using your points. For example, if you use the credit card to pay for a hotel, you can redeem your points at a rate of one cent per point to pay off that hotel bill. This is pretty much one of the least valuable ways to use your points and you should only use this if you absolutely need to. So the second way you can redeem your points for travel is through your bank's travel portal. The travel portal is where you can book hotels, airlines, and other travel and you're essentially just using Expedia or Booking.com through your bank's portal. This is a good option to use if you have no other way to book a specific hotel or flight using your points. The third option and often best way to use your points is to transfer them to your bank's hotel and airline travel partners. You can often get way more value this way, just like I did, getting well over two cents per point on my trips this year. Transferring your points is generally pretty easy and if you use Hyatt like I did, it's pretty easy to get an incredible value of at least two cents per point. However, I know plenty of people who like to redeem their points for first or business class flights, getting sometimes 10 or even 20 cents per point. It does take a lot of work to find availability, but if you can, you'll get amazing redemption values for your points. So there you have it. That is my credit card strategy that helped me earn over $12,000 in free travel this year alone. Now, before I wrap things up, I wanna give you one last tip to help you earn a ton of points, and that is something called reimbursable spend. Reimbursable spend is one of the best ways to rack up a ton of points because you're essentially going to be compensated for the money you spend on your card and you'll earn points. So it essentially gets you points for free. Some examples of this are putting job or business expenses on your card. Maybe you took a client out to lunch or you're traveling for a work conference and you're getting reimbursed by your employer or your own company for those expenses. This will earn you points and you'll also be compensated for that money that was on your card. You could also ask friends or family members to let you pay for expenses on your card and having them give you the money up front. A lot of people organize trips for their friends and if you pay for the whole trip on your card and get paid back by your friends, you'll earn a ton of points that way as well. If you're someone who has an HSA, some HSAs let you reimburse yourself for medical expenses. I was able to pay the hospital for my son's birth this year using my credit card and I earned a huge sign-up bonus. I was then able to pay myself back using my HSA so it didn't cost me anything out of pocket. There are a lot of ways to find reimbursable spend, so make sure you keep your eye out for opportunities because it's a great way to rack up a ton of points. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you give this video a like and help this channel grow. I plan on coming out with more videos to help you travel for free and optimize your finances, so subscribe if you want to learn more. And thanks for watching.